intense music in background. Ever heard of 2B2T? It's the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, a place where chaos reigns supreme. Today, I'm diving into the story of Pigeon30, a player who went from a humble fisherman to one of the most feared villains on the server. It all started simply enough. Pigeon30 was just another player trying to make a living in the unforgiving world of 2B2T. He took to fishing, a peaceful, almost meditative activity amidst the chaos. Over time, he became known for his fishing skills, catching over 1.5 million fish. Yeah, you heard that right, 1.5 million. But something changed in Pigeon 30. Maybe it was the endless hours spent staring at the pixelated water. Maybe it was the sheer volume of fish he pulled from the depths. Whatever it was, it twisted something inside him. Pigeon 30 grew tired of the mundane routine. The peaceful fisherman persona cracked and shattered. He emerged from his fishing hole, eyes burning with a new determination. He was no longer content with just fishing. He wanted chaos. He turned his attention to spawn the chaotic heart of 2B2T. Armed with gear and a newfound thirst for destruction, Pigeon 30 began to wreak havoc. He attacked anyone who crossed his path, leaving a trail of destruction in his wake. Players who once saw him as a peaceful fisherman now feared him as a spawn killer. Pigeon 30 didn't stop there. He sought out builds, those rare and precious creations that stood as beacons of creativity in the wasteland of 2B2T. One by one, he brought them down. Beautiful castles, intricate redstone contraptions, even the hidden bases of long-forgotten players, all fell to his relentless assault. Word of Pigeon 30's rampage spread like wildfire. Comparisons were drawn to Pop Bob, one of the most notorious players in 2B2T history. Some even whispered that Pigeon 30 was worse. Players banded together, forming alliances to try and stop his reign of terror. But Pigeon 30 was relentless. He seemed to thrive on the chaos, growing stronger with each act of destruction. And just when it seemed like the server might fall into an endless spiral of chaos, Pigeon 30 vanished. Some say he was finally defeated. Others believe he simply grew bored and left to find new victims. But his legacy remains. Pigeon 30's story serves as a reminder of the thin line between creation and destruction and how even the most peaceful players can harbour a darkness within. So, the next time you cast your fishing rod in 2B2T, remember Pigeon 30. And keep an eye on your surroundings. You never know when a new villain might rise from the depths. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this tale of chaos and mayhem, make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more stories from the wild world of 2B2T. Until next time, stay safe out there.